Hi, so today I'm going to be going over the program called AMD, or it's actually Utility. Today I'm going over the utility called AMD MSR Tweaker. And this program, or utility, allows you to edit the P states, the power states, that AMD defines in each processor. So in this case, I'm going to be editing the power states of my 8350 8-core processor. Now, uh, you can get this uh, application right in the description. I'll, I'll post links for everything. But um, here, if you start off and click on the application itself, it'll actually load up status page, I guess. Yeah, that's probably the best thing to tell. Pretty much a status page. It gives you uh, general information, tells you reference clock, tells you available multipliers, available voltage IDs, and here are the power states. You got power state 0, power state 1, power state 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. Right? Now, um, power state 0 and 1 are turbo core states. To, you, to interface this application, it's all through command line. So, the best way to go about this is actually to create a batch file. So, I'm just going to write new batch, which is not going to actually make it a batch file quite yet. There's two ways we can actually go about this. We can actually name it dot bat or we can actually just save it as so what we need to do in this application I mean in this text file in this text file we got to add the application path so I have this above so if you don't have the application path and the applications right in the same folder as the bash file itself. You can just remove this right here. And after the exe's name, you don't have to have .exe. After the exe name, you're going to have the command line interface. So the command line commands. And in this case, I want to uh, turn on my turbo core and edit all my power states and essentially have an overclock on my processor. So I'm going to be essentially overclocking through this program and to make it apply on start I can actually go into my um, comp computer management and I can actually have it load on system load with either a delay or not, it doesn't matter. So in this case I'm going to write turbo to enable turbo, 0 for off, 1 for on, so I want it on, so I'm going to put it 1, so there you go, and then so P0. So now I'm editing power state 0. I'm going to put it at a multiplier of 25, which is 5 gigahertz. And the at sign is, after the at sign, is going to, it's going to, alright. So, yeah. 25 multiplier, right? So that's 5 gigahertz. It's 5,000 megahertz. And I'm going to put it at 1.5 volts. And so power state 1, so I'm going to edit all the power states. I'm going to also put that at 25 at 1.5 gigahertz. I could lower that a lot more. I could just have it like 4.7 gigahertz at like, like 1.4 volt, 1.45 volts, but I'm going to just do it like this because that's the way I've done it many times and that's how I like it. So, power state 2, I'm going to set that to 23. I'll put that at 1.375 volts. That would have messed up. Good thing this application this application limits your available voltage to 1.55. All right, so now P state three, power state three. I'm gonna put that at 17 at 1.225 volts. And power state four. We're gonna put that at 14 at 1.125 volts. And power state. Five. We're gonna put that at ten. No, we're not gonna put that at ten. What am I saying? We're gonna put that at seven. No, no, no. No, we're putting that at ten point five. Sorry about that. Ten point five at one volt. And power state six, which is the last one. I'm gonna put that at seven at zero point eight seven five volts. 
Now, I don't actually necessarily need to define this one, but I'm going to define it anyways, just, just for uh, good practice, I guess. Either way, it doesn't really matter. It's already defined at that when your computer starts up. For some reason, 5, 4, 3, 2, no, 5, 4, 3, 2 are all the same. It shouldn't really be like that. It should be like this. I don't know. I'm just going to define it anyways. I'm going to put it like that. So it has the incremental step for the voltages and the clock rates for certain loads. And um, that seems about it. Now, if you don't know what multiplies are and voltages for your processor or anything and this stuff, this is not recommended. Do not use this at all because you're going to end up frying your shit if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, I've already done tests at 5 gigahertz at 1.5 volts and I have a little bit of load line calibration to help me droop and that makes it so I can actually run 25 multiplier which is 5 gigahertz for turbo and even load but I prefer to just have it on turbo core because it's like it's way more power savings and it's uh it's you know it's all I really need I don't really need anything crazy 5 gigahertz turbo core is pretty diesel if you ask me so I save this text file and then I'm going to actually save another copy of it in the same folder but I'm going to name it I'm going to name it 5 gigahertz 1.5 volts with power step which is just the incremental power increase for the power states just the power out of the states Nothing important. So, oh, oh, are you kidding me? Oh, wow. I was right there. 5 gigahertz, 1.5 volts, with power step. And batch file. So, dot bat. I oh, can't have the slash. There we go. Okay, so. Now, I have that file. Oops. Don't need that open anyways. So our new files right here, right at the top. We can uh, now just click this and it'll execute this program with the command line options that we defined in the batch file. So now you can auto you can make this automatically run on your computer start and it'll just overclock it and you can have all your happy to see the core speed is five gigahertz. So I'm going to move my window, show you my HW info. So we're hitting 5 gigahertz on each core. Now right now, my reference clock rate is not 200. It's actually like 201. See, 200.99. And I can actually fix that. It's some sort of glitch in my processor. I have no clue. I mean, with my motherboard, I have no clue why it does that. But I can just open up my Easy Tune for my Gigabyte motherboard. Because that's what I'm running. My Gigaboard, it's a Gigabyte 990FXA UV7. Pretty sure I got the latest motherboard BIOS revision and uh, got 16 gigabytes of uh, G uh, G scale. Yeah. 16 gigabytes of G scale, all at uh, the proper timings. Google channel, the stock stock level for uh, my. Uh, NB frequency, which probably should be 2.4 gigahertz, but I have this motherboard gives me problems with that shit, so I'm not going to bother. So this is set at 2.1 for some reason. I'm just going to set it at 2. I'm just going to set it at 2. There we go. Now you're going to see the 5 gigahertz is flat, which is uh, what we want. Good, good, good. So, right now, not doing shit. Excuse my friends. Now I'm not doing anything and it's just like down clocks. And as I move my mouse around and start clicking around, it will up clock to five gigahertz whenever I do anything. Now um yeah that's pretty much it. Temperatures stay nice and low. I mean my highest I've had in the past couple of days is forty two Celsius and that's with my fans all the way off and my door shut, my room gets hot and it's really efficient. I mean I'm running water cooling. There's a little picture of my computer right there. Nothing special. Just uh, some good old basic stuff. You know, this this program right here, HW Info, is a really great program. If you don't have it, I just suggest downloading it. Um, you can just Google it. You'll get it real quick. Gives you your voltages, your uh, temperatures, all that information. It's really good. I really like it. 
anyways, um, I will actually cover the getting your computer and getting it to load up on here on um, system start. So to get it load up on system start, you load up computer management, you go to task scheduler, right? And you go to create basic task. And here you can actually name it. So five gigahertz OC on load. You don't really need description. Whenever the computer starts, you can even do it when I log in. So we can do that just because, just in case the overclock's not working properly, you can always just stop it from loading up. Start a program. Additional arguments. So technically, you can just load the program, put all your arguments right here. But in this case, I just did a bash file to make it more simple. So this will trigger every time I log on this user. Bam! Now every time this computer turns on, it will overclock to five gigahertz turbo with the regular four gigahertz load. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope this was useful to you. Um, it was very useful for me when I found it. So. I'm sure, I'm sure someone could have some good use of this, but uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, just uh, check out my channel if you like videos like this. I post videos like this as I you know, think about them, even, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But, uh, like the video, like it, I mean, shit, if you don't like it, just like it. <laughs> if you hate it, you hate it. You know, if you like it, you like it. It's all depends. Uh, see you next video.